10 goals for with 10 shots for without and, and 10 saves without actually having to play the game. So percentage wise, it, it's kind of interesting. Uh, the Ducks on paper, uh, roughly average team is half their shots are, are on target in the net. Um, 14% of them will miss the net as they've they've scored 25 goals on 50 shots with 18 saves against. Defensively, they sit fourth overall for saves total. Um, the interesting thing about that is they only have a save percentage of 48.9%. They concede on 38.7 shots faced and 12% of their sh- the, the shots they face miss the net. Conversely, the Bulls, after losing a close 2-3 to three series against the Elite, they actually sit quite well, and their shooting percentage is very high. It's 57.1%, with only 16% of the shots that they face having been saved. But they do actually miss off the posts or the crossbars 26% of the shots that they, they take. Defensively speaking, they're actually quite sound, as 62% of the shots they face are saved. The other 30% go in, as they have less than a tenth of a percent shots missed ratio. Now we have to go into predictions. I mean, we already have a prediction from Redwater when Ducks three to two. Um, they're pretty evenly matched, though, as we talked about before the stream even started. So, what's your prediction for this? Do you see the Bulls take a series, or do you see the Ducks take it? The interesting thing for me is whether or not the Bulls can rein in their shooting percentage. If the Bulls can maintain that shooting percentage, I mean, they only average four point two shots a game, but if they can convert a high percentage of those, like we're talking 75% of those, so three shots on a game, they should be able to get by the Ducks here as the Ducks aren't the strongest team on defense. The the real question is, I don't know who's playing for the Ducks today. Um, If it's it's both Escape, uh, North has changed his name to Escape, by the way. Uh, I was told that by Hero uh, just briefly uh, in in a private chat here. So North is now Escape. So if Escape and Meanie play, they're the only two with stats I have here. It could be a close series as we saw the Bulls have a really close series against the elite who were playing their sub at midweek uh, in week two where Jay Dilly actually went off scoring that that seven goal game which was was quite impressive so if the Ducks are playing their sub this weekend it could be interesting because we know nothing about their sub in terms of statistics and if Jay Dilly can continue his form from week two into week three it could mean the difference for the Bulls here so I, I'm, I'm gonna go three two Bulls but that's only not knowing the current starting lineup for the Ducks all right, so there you have it for this first series. Uh, just a quick heads up, the next two series will be cast, and I believe we have the Wolves versus the Foxes later on tonight at 9 o'clock Eastern, and then we have the Dodgers versus the Elite, the two champions of recent minor league double seasons. They're going to be coming up next in our primetime game, and that's going to be the series to look out for. It looks like we have everybody in the lobby that we're going to get started here in just about 10 seconds as soon as teams can get joined up and ready to go. And I'm looking forward to... Jay Dilly, I mean, this guy, as you said, just went off in that Elite Series uh, in Game 4, I believe it was. And do you think he's still going to be, you know, needing a chiropractor after this week, or do you think uh, JB is going to have to step up a little bit more? JB is absolutely going to have to step up a little bit here. Uh, It'll be very interesting to see exactly what kind of games we get, especially as the fact that we haven't even mentioned this yet. We're on Octagon this week. We haven't said anything about that. Octagon is going to be a great equalizer here because I I don't think a lot of the teams have had any real practice on these ones here. So players are joining up here. We are going to go live over to the overlay here. Agony with the play-by-play. Let's go. All right, we are underway here in game one, the first series of the night, and it's an easy 50-50 here into the Bulls zone as Jay Dilley's back on defense and Escape puts one toward the goal. Going to whiff that, though. Jay Dilly, a great hit beer toward the halfway line. He's going to send it off the wall to JB, who waits for it. And gets a nice little touch to Domini, who's already waiting there to counter. Dangerous area. Domini turns it away from the post and leaves it for Jay Dilly, who pops one up over the crossbar. Escape pops it over top of JB, and it's out of the halfway line again. Jay Dilly hits it to his own wall. Escape picks up that boost, runs it up the wall, off the backboard. It's a wide-open shot for Domini, and Escape puts it in. Domini doesn't even need to touch it. Escape does really well here, managing Jay Dilly's boost by getting in front there, and he gets a really great aerial touch. That Batmobile upside down to drop that in. Domini looking for the shot, but Escape's like, nah, man, I got this. one nothing game early. Great counterattack off the start here for the Ducks, as it's a faceoff that stays directly on the halfway line, as Jay Dilly with no boost trying to push up the wall. Able to beat, looked like Domini as Escape whips on that, and JB not able to get a clean touch into the net as Jay Dilly centers. Dangerous area, Escape hard, clear, back the other way, and they're up by two. 
That is a really unfortunate thing for the Bulls there. Is they actually had an open net, and I think Jay Dilly was out of booster, out of position. I it might have been JB. I didn't actually see the replay there, but Escape just gets a great clear downfield. Both the Bulls players are clustered up around the ball, and they have absolutely no chance to stop that one. Now we're looking at a lot of counterattack from the Ducks. Is that going to be an issue for the Bulls going on in the rest of the set? Absolutely. The Bulls really need to figure out their defensive positioning, especially in a map as big as Octagon, because... It, oh, wow. Speaking <laughs> of, Jay Dilly runs one in five seconds after the last goal. Speaking of defensive positioning, I don't know what happened to Domini on this one. My my camera replays... Oh, he's just at midfield in no man's land as Jay Dilly beats Escape and just has a really easy shot down the wing there. Now, on the counterattack, you said the defensive positioning as we see the Bulls maybe finding out a little bit as Jay Dilly was the man back there. He's in the duck zone right now on the wall, not able to get down quick enough, and the ball goes over him into his own zone. Weak touch there. Domini going to have a chance to center off the backboard. Escape needs a touch, and he doesn't get it as JB sends it wide. On the side wall here, JB picks up boost, not able to get a clear backwards here as we see Escape tip it past him, and Jay Dilly's back for defense. He'll get a touch on the side wall, but it centers for him, and there it is. Escape, a huge dunk off the backboard, and Domini's not able to finish. Escape almost finishes it, but Jay Dilley gets one off the post. Another How did that not go save. in? And JB gets another save. Uh, it looked like Domini throwing it right off top of him. Is, here's Dilly on the dribble. In front of the net, off the post. A 50-50 from Escape that puts it just in a dangerous area. And here it is again. Escape at the halfway mark back into the Bulls zone, and it's on the wall. JB needs a clear. He whiffs on it, leaves it for Jay Dilly, who gets dunked by escape. Backboard, dangerous area, looking for Domini, but he actually whiffs on that, and it rolls toward the midway line. A lot of flirting shots here from both sides, and the Bulls seem like they're barely keeping the storm at bay. Yeah, the Bulls are just, they're not getting the right contact on the ball to get it up across this arena here. As I say, that and JB, a dangerous great pass. for Jay Dilly. Wow, JB, a great pass from that side wall. I gotta stop talking, because every time I do, the Bulls score a goal here. Is JB gets the perfect <laughs> pass off the inside of that corner. Jay Dilly's in the right place at the right time. Just front flips that one home. His escape couldn't make the block at the near post. We got a tie game. Now, only half the game left to go. The Bulls might be finally finding their offensive stride, but their defensive stride is nowhere to be found. As JB got two lucky saves early on. Domini down into a dangerous area as JB spins it back to the other side, and Domini picks up that boost. Escape backwards touch, leaves it for JB, who can center this, gives it weak touch, it stays with the wall as Domini gets a pinch outwards. Jay Dilly, a shot from the outside, but Escape's going to turn it away easily, send it back to the Bulls zone. Up on this diagonal wall, and Escape's going to send one out to center, a shot on net actually, as JB has to make an easy save and give it to Jay Dilly, who clears it out. On the midway line, and Domini who turns it back in and puts it up that side wall, and it's Escape who centers it, but there's going to be no one there as Domini was out of position. Jay Dilly, good clear here, down into the Ducks zone. I have three interactions on Twitter, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Dilly sends it off that diagonal wall and it's out to the midway line, and Domini's going to follow it up. High pop here for Escape, he's nowhere to be found, and it's Jay Dilly who turns it away. On that diagonal wall, he sends it out to the midway line, where it's Domini and Escape coming together to make a clear, and Jay Dilly hits one off the wall. No follow-up there as JB is up, but he gets beat! And it's a run back the other way for the Ducks. They can pick up this winning goal. Yeah, it's a good play by Escape here as he gets up and wins that ball against JB. Jay Dilly's already committed because he was the one who popped it up in the first place. And he's no boost, no time to get back. Escape lands perfectly, starts running towards that ball, and it's an easy goal. Now, the Ducks up by one minute and a half left to go. And if they can just keep doing what they're doing, they might be able to come away with the first game in the set. We see Escape up on that sidewall to get a touch out, and Domini picks up that boost, but there's no one back now. A shot for JB, but he doesn't go up for it, and he's going to miss it, and Domini has a chance to turn it away. Back to the Bulls zone. JB whiffs another one. It's on the sidewall for Jay Dilly, who gets dunked by Domini, and open net, and Escape's going to put another one away. It's a close one here. Is I mean, the dunk on Jay Dilly is a phenomenal dunk by Domini here, but he actually, his momentum carries him through the net, and he almost saves this one on Escape. It's, Escape gets really lucky with the positioning of his Batmobile there to put it off the rebound off his teammate in front of the net. And you remember from playing with me yesterday how many goals I can save for my own team. Uh, uh, we're, we're not going to talk about that. Yeah, though. we're not going to talk about that. We're not going to talk about yesterday. <laughs> Jay, Jay Dilly back on defense, though. Pops one out toward the midline. He's going to follow this up by himself. Does whiff a little bit here. Has to pick up a dribble. He does beat Escape by pocketing it to the ceiling. 
and he whiffs on that second touch to get the clear. JB does get it, leaves it at the midway line as Domini gets put out of position and escapes and it off the wall. Jay Dilly, good counter there, back toward a dangerous area. No one's going to be there, it just is doubles. And Domini sends it to the diagonal on the bull zone. Escape, we put a high angled shot on net, but it goes off that backboard and rolls to the other side. JB with it now, it has to beat Escape, who can't get a dunk there on the wall. Domini's with it, and no one's in position to make a play, but Domini swings around quickly and is able to get a clear, and Jay Dilly half flips back to get in position. Able to counter it as well, Domini gets left out of position, and Escape on the wall, wide open net for JB, and it's a put a little bit too far by Jay Dilly on the other side. As time is winding down here, it looks like there's no chance for the Bulls to come back, as it's going to be 4-2, to two to the Ducks pending this ball touch escape almost gets one with zero seconds left yeah it's a good game from the Ducks here as they're able to capitalize on every defensive mistake that the Bulls made and got themselves I mean well, okay let's just look at the stat line here first of all Domini's lagging that, that surprises me a bit because it didn't look like that but this game is escapes 10 shots on goal four goals one save JB made that a lot closer than it should have been with the four saves plus the one from Jay Dilly there. But uh, the Bulls just completely caught out by over committing to balls and not getting back in time for defense. And Escape just ran away with a lot of those goals there. Now, the Ducks came out really early with a huge flurry of shots. And we saw JB get a couple of really lucky saves as Escape put one right into him on that uh, short post on the right side. And then Back on the other side, just before that, one went off the post and barely hit off the front corner of his Dominus, and actually just off the hint of luck, went the right way. Yeah, I mean, so, it's, it, it's a game of inches here, right? And I mean, some, sometimes looking at the Bulls, play. though, you can't get that lucky on defense. I mean, it you have to have more solid defense. No, I agree entirely. And that's something that they're going to have to figure out going forward in this series, is you never want to give up the first game, but... One of the one of their biggest difficulties, I think, is, is possibly communication. They're they're on console. I'm not sure if they're communicating over their headsets over PSN. So you, you have no idea how good the the voice codec is. And if they're not communicating over PlayStation and they're not communicating on Discord, then you're going to be seeing a lot of situations where they're clustering up next to each other and going for the same balls, and that's going to lead to a lot of offensive opportunities for the Ducks. You have a question in the Twitch chat. What is S1H? I could answer it, but I'll let you. Uh, S1H stands for Stage 1 Hypertension, which is my competitive 3v3s team. Uh, you can find us playing most Friday nights in Shift Pro League and various other tournaments outside of the Minor League Doubles network, as I have been uneligible to play in Minor League Doubles since before it existed. <laughs> <laughs> I've been on a, I've been ineligible for about uh, three months now, but you know, getting stuck in Challenger with you know who uh, was always fun. But all right, we're gonna get underway here. It's, I think we're actually might be having internet issues with Domini. Uh, I'm not really sure exactly what is going on. And Redwater actually has a team outside of Old which is awesome. Um, so second game, what do we need to see from the Bulls to be able to pull one back? Uh, what we need to see from the Bulls to pull this one back, to be honest, is better defensive spacing. Octagon's a big map. It gives you a lot of time and space to react to balls, especially when they're not uh, they're not as fast. Like the the play at the minor league doubles level, it, it tends to be a little bit more of a slower tempo. So if you can rein in your 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 instincts to just rush at balls and and try to make that hit and make that play, if you can take a step back and buy yourself a little bit of time, then you should be able to react a lot better to the balls and get better clears. All right, so the Bulls down 1-0 in the series. We are underway at game two, and Jay Dilly's going to win a face off that goes straight to Domini, able to get a clear on a pinch, and it's in the Bulls zone early. JB, bad touch there, leaves it in the dangerous area for escape. He's going to take an aerial shot, but it goes wide to the left, and it's still in a dangerous area, looking for a drop, and he puts it the wrong way, almost straight back into Domini, but JB was there to make the save. He misses this on an easy ground clear and just leaves it there, and it's going to leave it for Escape, who goes up the wall and sends it into the Bulls' zone. Jay Dilly does a challenge, gets beat early. high angle shot from Escape, almost a follow-up there, but JB was patient. JB up on the wall. He's going to go for an air touch here. Not going to happen, as it's Domini who spins it to a dangerous area where Jay Dilly's going to attack but get beat by the speed of Domini. Sidewall here. Early attack from the Ducks. The skate puts a shot toward the net. JB, easy turn away. 
And Jay Dilly not going to 